Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new, my name is Todd and this is Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. And I just found out this not too long ago, but it's uh, National Burger Month, in the month of May. And uh, me and Deb here are going to make Hello. a uh, burger that uh, we're going to call the Wild and Crazy Pastrami Cheese Burger. Burger. <laughs> for National Burger Month. So uh, anyway, uh, we're just getting this grill ready. And uh, yeah, we just made that up, by the way. So as you can see, got the charcoal going. And got the Weber just standing by. And of course, Patch is, our, Patch is gonna be our quality assurance supervisor to make sure we're doing it right. Um, at, any rate, at any rate, we're basically gonna use some nice Chipotle, I'm sorry. Some kind of bun, and uh, where, what kind of buns are these, baby? Um, they're um, artisan pasta? buns. They're not. Oh, they're okay. So we're gonna use some artisan buns. Artisan. <laughs> artisan. So we're gonna use some some artisan buns. Um, any old bun will do. Um, you decide what, whatever's your favorite, but these ones are artisan buns. The soft we're gonna, ones are the best. We're gonna of course butter them up. Um, we're only going to use salt and pepper. Um, we've got two types of sauce. And baby, what kind of sauces are those? Um, this is just a, this is a spicy mayo mustard. And this is a spicy chipotle mayo with a little cayenne kick. We're going to put this on the bottom where the burger is. And then this is a honey, spicy honey, honey, um... Honey, spicy honey. No, there's no honey. You're spicy honey. Mayo. There's a spicy and mayo uh, and mustard. Okay, so basically what she's saying is we made our own custom sauce. Oh uh, we used mayo as a base and then uh, chipotle and a, and a spicy uh, honey mustard. So then, of course, we're going to be using this grill top <laughs> on the Weber, uh, getting it nice and hot. Um, last time we did a burger, we did it over a gas grill. That was the uh, tribute to Gordon Ramsay's uh, uh, perfect burger. So today we're going to do it even better. We're going to grill it, and we're using 80-20 ground beef, good quality. And uh, we've mixed in one egg uh, earlier today, and we let them sit out for a little bit to kind of firm up. And then we're going to take some pastrami and kick it up a notch. And... Uh, you guys will, will love the way it tastes. Well, we'll love the way it tastes. You guys are just going to have to scratch your smell of vision Hope for the best. <laughs> of course, some uh, nice fresh tomatoes. Um, and I'm going to grill some onions, of course. Got to have grilled onions. And um, Deb's doing something with these strange-looking green things. Not it's sure what she has planned for those. You're going to grill them. They look you... very strange. So anyway, I'm going to get the grill all set up, and uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, so in our chimney here, we got some good quality uh, Kingsford blue hard lump charcoal. Um, we've got some leftover uh, chunks that we had from our last cook, and you want to wait until you get nice and ashy at the top, so you, and, uh, so you see that flame coming out, and this is ready. So we're going to go ahead and put them in here. There we go. Let's mount them up. There we go. Oh. All right. You don't really have to have a, any kind of special um, mound here. Just kind of arrange it in a nice little stack. We're going to be putting on the grate here. There we go. And we're going to get the grill. So let's see. I'm going to go. I'm just going to let that thing get up really hot. So I've already seasoned it. I've uh, already uh, cleaned it, seasoned it, squirted it with a little bit of oil, um, and it's ready to go. So I'm just going to let that thing get up nice and hot. In fact, to get more airflow, get temperature up, and then leave it uncovered for a while. First thing we're going to do, because it takes a little bit more time, is we're going to grill up these onions. The first thing you want to do is get a little oil in there. And we're going to grill those jalapenos as well. Right. Yeah. 
Ja, tu. All right, all right now. Uh, what's this called, David? This you really like called, the shape, huh? This is called... Grilled jalapenos. Grilling your jalapenos. All right. <laughs> and a smart man once told me I always season, season these things. Take the lid off. So a smart man once told me always season these things. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Ooh. All right. So we know these jalapenos are going to get done a little sooner than the rest of it. Oh, if you guys could smell this, this smells so good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so while I roast up these uh, jalapenos and onions, Deb's going to butter my buns. Oh, that didn't come out right. So, go, <laughs> go butter the buns, baby. Okay, I think these, uh, I think these onions are, are almost there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take these off. I don't like my onions too overcooked. Just when we get to that point where they start getting translucent. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to go get the burgers. Oh. All right. So, wise man once told me, always hit your burgers with a little bit of salt and pepper. Just before they go on the grill. Okay. Let's grill a little bit. What are you filming? <laughs> Sorry. You know, the action's over here. Okay. <laughs> okay. The action's right here. Okay. Here's the action. All right. Since I seasoned that side, I set the. Since I seasoned that side, I'm going to go ahead and lay it down on that side. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with some season again. I didn't see anything coming out. Alright. Okay. You're supposed to squish them. Now remember, these things are going to stick and you don't want to touch them at all. So once they start getting brown up the edges, they're telling you basically the crust is formed and it's time to flip them. So we're not going to touch them at all right now. All right, it's been a couple minutes, and they're still not quite crisping up yet. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to take these buttered buns here, and we're going to crisp a couple of them up. Just start some marks. I'm going to have a whole lot of space on this Weber, so I'm just going to do a couple buns at a time, and hope for the best. All right, looks like these things are starting to lift up on their own a little bit. Get a little peek under there. Yeah, they're looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these bad boys. All right, then I'm going to hit them with some more salt and pepper. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do a little pastrami on here, so I'm adding a little oil. We're just going to warm it up on the grill. Is that cooked, honey? It's pretty much already cooked, so all we're doing is Warm it up some more. Now notice I use the same spot where we had all that oat, that uh, butter, where I browned the buns. So I'm just recycling a little bit of that butter. Help these things kind of warm up. So I'm going for medium, to medium rare, medium rare to medium. Um, don't want them too rare. Mine has to be well. Uh, maybe Deborah's a little bit more well. Alright. It's looking a little bit of oil. 
I don't want to burn this pastrami, it's already been cooked. I'm just warming it up, getting a little bit of that seasoning that is already on the griddle. Remember, pastrami is really salty, so you don't really need to add a lot to it. Just a little bit of moisture and heat. How's that, baby? Perfect. Okay. So, I really like American cheese. It doesn't have stringy cheese when it gets hot and starts cooling down again, so I like using two pieces. Let's say I got a third piece. Debra doesn't want any cheese on hers. So, which one do you want? I think it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put that one on there. Okay. Give that a couple minutes, let the cheese melt down, and then we're going to build these buns. I mean, build the burgers up. Pigstrami burgers. So I'm going to let the cheese melt down <laughs> on these burgers a little bit. It's not going to take long, especially that American cheese because it gets so creamy. So then we're going to take the meat in and build these fine burgers. So happy Burger Month, America. Well, first, I'm going to put some of this chipotle um, okay. spicy mm -hmm. mayo in the bottom bunch. And then on the top bun, we're going to put some of this nice mustard, spicy mustard mayo. We're going to take some lettuce and we're going to build our burger first. Next, we're going to grab our burger. Well, it's a good thing we're building the burger first since that's all we're having. Uh -huh. This is all we need. This is a lot. This is a lot. And then the onions, we're going to grab a tomato and You know, I'm sorry, stone. but I do not have. We're going to put one jalapeno, just one. We're going to put some of these nice onions. Oh my God, look at these. Is it great? Look at that. Okay. So that is the burger base. Then we're going to put two tomatoes. You're blocking the camera. Two tomatoes, whoa. I like the tomatoes. Then we are going to get some of this yummy, delicious pastrami. And I don't have, this is my pastrami, so I could grab it with my fingers. But if I was cooking for y'all, I wouldn't do this. And you just top it off on there. You could be generous. First bite you take, it's all going to probably come pouring out. And, uh. And there you go. Alright guys, hope you liked our short yet sweet and delicious uh, burger video. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut into these and start eating. So, uh, thanks for visiting. If you've got any comments, uh, hit the link down below. And, uh, about more videos that we make, like and subscribe, and we'll see you later.